All right, it's off the ball going to the races. We have a racing virgin. We have a racing veteran. How many times have you been to the races? Five times. Okay, that's enough. And we have the, the best dressed one who uh, is going to a wedding after this. <laughs> or maybe it's court. And, of course, we have the man who's going to beat the bookies for us today. What do we expect from Kilbegan? A whirlwind in Westmead. We're going to kill it in the ring in Kilbegan. track in particular it's it's quite unique it's quite a sharp fast undulating track uh, we've worked hard over the years to make it as safe as possible for horse and rider but hopefully over the years we've 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 brought down the fall rate and uh, it seems to be a track that's uh, improving in that regard too. They go out there knowing the risks they're happy to take that on for their enjoyment and the enjoyment of the sport as a spectator sport. My dad was a was a race course doctor in Clamel and Tipperary and Thurlis Tipperary race courses down where we're from. So I was, you know, a teenager in the ambulance with my dad at the races. As soon as I was as I was qualified enough, a few years out of med school, I started working as a race course doctor, and I enjoyed it. And then I became a turf club doctor, and now I probably do seventy or eighty race meetings a year. How many horses do you have? Just the one. Okay. Just the one. This is it. Uh, whether he pays for a few more now or not, I don't know. I couldn't tell you yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes. A lot of lads talked for years about getting involved, and then we just said, you know what, we'll just go for it and see how, see how it happens. And uh, it's worked out well so far, and it's great, great old crack, really. Well, listen, we let you go and watch it. Best of luck. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much. Well, normally enough, uh, it's all National Hunt, which is jumps, and the last race is always a bumper, but it's always for sort of the intermediate standard, if you will, yeah. put in GA terms of horse racing. Yeah, any tips for us who aren't having that many winners? Well, the second last race were, we, was my own fancy. I have a big interest in National Hunt, Con Sharon by in the 740, so that's my tip of the day. Nice one. We'll see how that goes later on. Brian, thanks a million. Thanks, sure. More than welcome. Thank you. Could I have a five reach right number eight, please? Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. Mm. He's still at the back. Oh yeah, he's last like and out of the work. Is this the this the it's just a very good social evening to be out. You're not too far away from home. When you're here in the Midlands, an hour will take you a long way in any direction. Yeah. You know, so we hope to, that we're providing a good service to the people in that regard. These smaller tracks are very important to everyone. You know, it's great. Yeah, they kind yeah. of keep the industry going. They do, yeah, definitely. You know, you look at the crowd here again tonight, and you know, it's not the nicest evening. It's great. It's great when you've had a winner, anyhow. So, yeah, delighted. I know Quebecans great. Always a great atmosphere here. Great crowd and good fun. We're a, a racing club. We set up there three years ago. Uh, we're all members of Angara Shikana. So there's 134 members in the club. So um, it's, it's, it's surreal what has happened to us. Like, you know, it's a fairy tale stuff. Like, you know. The odd winner like today really helps as well. Oh, come here. Look, we, we, we've been very lucky, like, you know, but that, that's down to the likes of Willie Mullins and, uh, and all the staff in, in Close Sutton. You know. There's so many down there, like, you know, that you'd be afraid to miss out on one of them, like, you know, you know like Ruby and. Like they're just brilliant to us, and it's not just because of our guards or anything like that. Like it's just because they, they treat every person equally. Now we said the star of the night. We'd have a whirlwind in Westmead. We'd kill it in the betting ring in Kilbegan, and touched by an angel. I think it was something like to do with uh, an RT TV series years ago. I don't know what it was, but I know that we got the readies here from off the ball. Where are you from, Marcella? From Dundalk. Very good. Are you having a good night? Are you winning or are you losing? Um, winning a little bit. Yes, winning a little bit. But it's been a good night, great atmosphere here tonight and the weather has been great and uh, I think everyone's having a good night. They're all enjoying themselves. Like myself, um, coming out to the last race here, as the horses have now left the bravery for the Kilmurray. Harry Wheeling Zillin has the advantage from Don Kickner by Mill Quest, and then behind these has gone Sharon Boy, but up towards the line it's going to be Free Wheeling Zillin for Connor Maxwell and Dermot McLaughlin, who be Don Kickner by Mill Quest, gone Sharon Boy, Sandy Cohen and Burn Down, they were all fought in by Ringrod Castle, pulled up among them the straight and then you tell them. You got two rides and you have two winners. Not a bad night. A great night. Um, the, the first mayor was was very good. I just had to literally steer around, jump off in front, 
she likes to get on with things. Um, the second horse is a bit, it was his first run. It's a difficult track on their first run because you're always turning. The ground is quite uneven. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult with, with him, but job done. And Mason's daughter is a syndicate of guards. And from guitar racing to syndicate of guards, I think that's the democracy of racing in a nutshell. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's very important to stay in with the guards. So, yeah, yeah. So it's great to see her doing well for them. But James Fenton is the main man there. And he's done a fabulous job leasing well-bred fillies. And I was just, I was involved in getting her leased. That's why I got the rider today. Um, but it just, you know, you don't have to have... Uh, hundreds of thousands of euro to, to, to get a decent mare you know th th there's there's a group of them I don't know how, there could be 80 or 100 in the minute and they have eight eight mares um, all in training with Willie and um, they're getting great sport so you know syndicates are great fun and um, they're always here in a big crowd they always enjoy their winner and it's great to ride winners for them um, I suppose Kilbegan it's a small um, rural race track it's one of the most successful rural race courses in the country and um, it plays a huge part in terms of catering for the ordinary horse we're very fortunate here in the fact that we've all the top trainers, national trainers running their horses here, Willie Mullins, Noel Mead, Henry de Bromit. It's worth a huge amount to the local economy because it's the only race course in the Midlands and it's very well supported from a lot of the companies. We probably don't access a lot of the, just the fact that this happens and like it's part of the ebb and flow of a summer in the Midlands is to go racing in Kilbegan. People come racing to Kilbegan, firstly to come to meet friends, to come to make new friends and to come for the social evening out and quite a number of companies then use it to bring their staff for evenings out and here this evening we have three or four companies all on staff nights out. People come here and we're getting huge feedback from people that they go away having a most enjoyable evening and that's the key. We're getting huge feedback from our from all the trainers bringing their horses here that they're going home having won races and also that their horses are safe going home because we put huge effort into preparing the racetrack.